Did you beat because you MKG? I'm I'm asking what that is. I didn't really see it. I think I think Kuro is talking to me. Yeah. Yeah. Also, yeah, you can go back to talk about Hollow Knight. Sorry, damn it. I'm just trying to put focus on the game. That's a Metroidvania no, game, isn't it? Yes, it's a Metroidvania. Oh Nightmare yes, I did. Yes, I did. I beat him so good. The thing about Night uh, Nightmare King Grim was one of the hardest bosses in that in the of the DLC and mm -hmm. in the game period. And he's like an end game boss you'd fight after doing a really long side quest. Uh, mm -hmm. I beat him. Even some called me Johnny. Couldn't do it. Wow! Congrats, dude. I, it took me maybe two to three hours to do it. I, could, and I probably couldn't do it. It took a lot of trial and error and memorization of his patterns, and eventually I beat him. It was fun, though. I enjoyed every moment of it. It's so, like the thing with that is, is that I didn't actually get mad at it. I, unlike like most of the times I would, it's like I thought I'd get mad, but I was like, nope, I'm dead again. Whoop, gotta do it again. But yeah, yeah, he's really fast. Uh, but yeah, Hollow Knight was a great experience. I didn't do 112% because the game's DLC counts as its own percentage. Oh, that's convenient. So I didn't do 112% because I didn't like doing the boss rushes, basically. Hmm. The boss rushes are kind of annoying, mainly because uh, you got to fight. Uh, there's three. Uh, there's three boss rushes with ten bosses each, and then there's the final boss rush, which is about 40 bosses in a row with no breaks except for the, I think every five bosses you get like a room to switch switch out your like uh, charms and whatnot and uh, heal up a bit. Sounds like something we should check out. But guess what? If you die, you go all the way back. Ah. So I was like, you know what? I beat two of those boss rushes. Two of the ten boss rushes. And I'm like, I'm fine with this. I'm fine. I might do the third ten boss rush because I managed to get to the end. I just didn't have enough health to go through it. Because I kept on getting, like, smacked and not being able to heal it up fast enough. So I might do that again, but with a different setup. Right, city rooms but, near the tower. But yeah, it was a great experience. Mm -hmm. I, if you ever get a chance to play that game and you have the patience to go through some hard bosses, you should get it. It's mm -hmm. fun. And you're going to, to near the tower, Snake? Uh, yeah, we're going to the Forest Kingdom. Yeah, but before you go into the Forest Kingdom, find that small tower in the middle and climb it. Gotcha. You're going to find a small... Robot, the, that that tower. Uh, the, whoa! The, uh, yeah, hi. You're gonna find a small robot there and hack it. You have to hack it, not kill it. Oh, 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 okay. No, 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 not this one, not this one. The one at top of the tower. Well, too late. Oh, well, and I just pressed the. Holy shit. Yeah, these, these ones are way tougher. There we go. Okay, oh, those well, are like mine. I don't get the red. Yeah, that's dead. But no, I mean like the one at the top of the tower. Ah. Uh, like there, there, there should be like some, some like a ladder. But yeah, they're making a sequel, which they which was, which is what people say is DLC, but it's actually gonna be apparently its own game. No, the, thing, the, uh, the thing is, is that originally. Silk, Silk Song was supposed to be a DLC because it was a Kickstarter goal. But they realized that they have so many ideas that they said, you know what, we're going to make it uh, an actual full game and everybody who backed up for the DLC is going to get the full game for free. Uh, that is a very good business choice. Yeah, yeah the, that's a Team crazy Cherry is a, Team Cherry is a great business. It is yeah. a great okay. company. Hug this guy. I think something's wrong with it. All right. Whoops, I... Well, I guess talking to it wouldn't have uh, done much difference. You need to wait. Right, and... Act. But yeah, if you guys ever 
feel like it and get a chance and have the money for it, I'd suggest getting Hollow Knight. It is... It's, it's spent, too hard for me. Yeah, it, it's only for, like, the people who can stand the kind of Dark Souls-esque kind of platformer. But if you enjoy that kind of thing, I'd recommend it. Hack him again. Uh, uh, hack him again, you said? Yes. But yeah, Silk, Silk Song is going to be a Oh, great fuck. I, I, I thought it was like. Whoops. I blame you for that. Whoops, yeah, that was <laughs> Don't worry, he will return. Yeah, I, I guess you needed to. I needed to 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 let, leave him be and then come back later. <laughs> well, we 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 will do that later. Don't worry, he'll be back. <laughs> I kind of jump ahead of the quest there. I'm blaming of you course, for that, Star Mac. If you don't want to do that story, it's fine because it ends tragically. Mm. Right. Basically, he will realize that nothing else matters in the world, and he's just gonna jump off the tower. To so we kind of facilitated his big, his death there. Well, yeah. We we pretty <laughs> yeah. much did him a favor right there. Yeah. So, of course, if you come back, he's gonna be back at, again there because we didn't kill him. We didn't do the actual quest. So yeah. we will just respond until he himself kill himself. Ah. Uh, but. You but can yeah. kill me. I kill me. Yeah, basically. The only one who can kill me is me. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna do it. He's, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna jump. Do Don't a flip! <laughs> do a flip! Don't jump! Yeah. Wait! Don't jump! And Sets up the right. Okay, now yeah. jump. Basically. You ever seen that ASD? That's a good one. I, I haven't I'm, seen that. I, I, I've seen it. <laughs> it's funnier because Jack Sept the guy voices that one. This structure Pascal was talking about. The records okay. say it was once a All right, we're going to find a meal finally. Yep. Remember. I mean again, but yes. Uh, yeah, we there... don't need to do the side quest again, Snake by the way. That that stays as clear. Yeah. So in Hollow Knight, there is an no area in a like in-game like uh, location that you can only get to after you get like really far in the game. It's yeah. Uh, have you ever, you guys ever seen like Kaizo Mario or something like that? Here, right? Oh, so it's a super <laughs> difficult, almost impossible area. <laughs> it's a so very difficult area, be, entirely you know possible, but it is very difficult. It is the platformer's platformer challenge. Where basically you have to use all yeah, your movement. Not well, to be fair, you have, there are like there's actually well, three expect? parts to that. You got one that's optional; the other two are required. But there are some ways you can skip through some of it, depending on how you if you think like a, if you're uh, clever with how you move and what you can do. Because the movement in that game is so good, like it flows so well. Like all the movement upgrades you get in the game make it so much Check more satisfying guy. to move around. He's just away. But yeah, and there's literally a uh, area, and the optional area is literally called the Path of Pain. Oh. Because it is the hardest platforming challenge ever, and it's completely optional, and it only gives you like some story context. Hi, Emil. And to be fair, you don't even you didn't you don't even need to do it for full completion. Huh? Hey, like you can beat the game I? without even doing that, um, but you won't get like uh, the uh, the hey other there, endings that way. What's up? This thing's weird, Tubi. Let's kill it. <laughs> what? Why, why, why is idea. that thing so disturbing? He's a good boy. Best character in the game. Yep. Spe Best especially when he co game. comes bounding over a hill. <sighs> the thing has a weird face. I don't like it. <sighs> Looks like the Didn't forest bust is just there. Yeah, yeah, he the just rolled. He just rolled right through the iron gate. Again, best character in the game. I don't like him, he looks creepy. 
Is it his dialogue that's funny? Uh, his his dialogue, his song, uh, the lyrics for his song as well. I mean, you can like the character, but not the face. Here they come. Better keep your guard up. Just put a paper bag on uh, it. Be better. I mean, he also does some. Uh, what is it? They call it some scat jazz for his song for his own lyrics. I think that's what they call it. So basically, he's the robot version of Scatman Jazz. Kind of, yeah. But also mix that in with the actual English lyrics as well, and if you can find me a video of that voice actor doing the Scatman, uh, the Scatman song, I will die. I'm pretty sure that the what the fuck. I'm pretty sure it doesn't exist in what this just... universe. Maybe in a different parallel universe, who knows. Oh. Um, jeez, that was so sudden. Well, yeah, I had a great time on that game. Like, I had some bosses I uh, struggled with, but I eventually got through them. Mm-hmm. It's like, the game's really simple and kind of easy when you like do everything you need to do so like getting all the upgrades and stuff bosses can be a complete joke depending on what you do okay this cutscene is new yep. some speedrunners go through the game in like 30 minutes we're finally getting some backstory on the forest team Anyway, I think that's about enough for me tonight. You all have a good one. You Bye, too. Gavin. That really freaked me out. Why? The, the transition, just the sudden transition. Oh. Uh, it, it was kind of sudden. It, it's just about as sudden a, as these machines. They were talking about a king, oh, right? Or I saw what looked to be a castle further in. Maybe we should take a look. It was just as sudden a, as a sudden glitched, glitched up video in Batman Arkham Asylum. Because at that point, my my original Xbox 360 was already kind of broken and wearing itself out. So that freaked me out. <laughs> All right, and there we go. That's another vending machine unlocked. And you know what, fuck it, hack. Um, more memories. Mm hmm. One hundred twenty eight years ago. His Majesty. He's dead. Long live the King.
Okay, you know what? Nope, I can't hack it. Now I can. Yeah! Thank you. Go. Shit. Oh, I already got that. Okay. Right before I was able to kill that robot. Yep. Four hours ago. Yep. His majesty hasn't grown at all. It's because you guys are machines. Yeah, dumbasses. Kinda made a mistake. Well, shit. Right. Can't let anyone into the forest kingdom. Yeah, one of them just said that they're too dumb. Yep. Yes, I knew that there was something in here. Nice eye. Good eye, I mean. Beast curse. Nope. No. Spear with the king of beasts as its motif. Once upon a time, there were three princesses. The youngest princess was widely regarded as the ugliest woman in all the land, but her heart was gentle, honest, and pure. Already that sounds like a recipe for a sad story. Mm-hmm.
Ah, oh, damn it, and you drop the item down there. Wow. Uh, you know what? No, I'm not. Uh, mm. Fine, I'll I'll do it. And that's how you get that chest up there. I don't know. Oh uh, wait. What? What? Pressing, I'm pressing the button and I'm not able to get in there. Oh. Okay, aggressive. I'm not able to open it for some reason. Oh boy. Hold on, let me see. Unless that. Oh, that's not a chest. That's the box that you need to use to to, to climb to the blacksmith. Oh. You know, the one that you have to hold and pull back? Oh, okay. Okay, so I have to pull it. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Okay, that that makes sense. I see. They gave you a way to get back up there. Yeah, okay. you were, now you were the one being dumb. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. That's good enough. Hmm. I can upgrade the Cruel Oath to level 4. This. Upper. Or in a beast hide. What does the Cruel Oath need? I can upgrade this to level 4. Awesome. Well, okay, that's what I need. Yeah, why not? Upgrade. Ching. Maxed. Okay, and the Yorha issue blade, that's going to need one machine arm. Virtuous treaty. Isn't that? Isn't that? That the, was one of that was, that was one of two beast uh, weapons. Why not? Let's upgrade that. You can still use it. All right, just needs one pristine cable. My, my, my master honed that blip. Very blade long ago. He was a master craftsman who gathered four black and four white weapons and improved on them. But they spilled so much blood that my master sealed them away in various locations across the world. However, I wager you would weld them in the service of good. If that is true, you can search for them in this in sealed shrines throughout the world. Yeah, basically he he's telling you why you find those weapons in the shrines. Ah, uh, yeah. So there's more uh, more shrines than just the one that we found that lance in. Uh, yeah, we find another one, remember, when we were in the caves as well. Remember that door you hacked? Oh, yeah, I remember, yeah. There's that... one in the amusement park, one you find in the tree. Uh... 
All right. So we have been finding them. You just haven't been paying attention. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't have known unless he actually told me that. Mm -hmm. uh, you you have finding them already. And I got the cruel lament. Mm -hmm. This is one of the weapons I was telling you about. It was passed down through the generations until it came to me, and I can't bring myself to seal it away. I know you will give it the respect it craves. Is the cruel lament? I might be a lance. But... No, it's a it's a weapon. Yep. A weapons made of black armor from the east. Okay. Weapons are mirrors that reflect what is in your heart. Treat them with the care they deserve. Right. What a wise machine. Well, he is na named after the sword that does not kill, so... Mm-hmm. 